I hope everybody had a good day. It's just me uh, today, uh, just relaxing. Um, thought about playing some Kingdom Come again. Uh, <clears throat> thought it'd be good to uh, chill out and relax. We might also get into another uh, game that I like playing just to relax uh, called Sailwind. Um, so we'll play a little bit on this one and then maybe transfer over to that one uh, sometime later tonight. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if you remember where we left off last time, we had just gotten to a new village after our old one, the one that we were living at with our family, uh, got burned to the ground, and we barely survived. Uh, went back to a, a neighboring village with a castle, asked for help. Uh, they took us in, and... Then we decided that we needed to go back to the town to bury our parents. So we did that, and then we got ambushed by a big group of bandits, and uh, were saved by the uh, soldiers that were at the neighboring town that we had requested to stay at. Um, looks like we had gotten picked up by some villagers who were around there. Uh, one of the girls name, uh, that picked, found us was named Teresa. She was one of the uh, villagers in our um, town that we had lived in. She had survived because we saved her. So. Have you eaten yet? I think That's so, yeah, actually good. we did. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what we were doing after that. I think we stopped. I have no quests. Go to Parkstein to see Sir Agzik. Oh, and then we also took a quest from the Miller, the uncle of Teresa. Get the dead man's ring from Miller Peshek. Get a spade. What do we have in our inventory? We had picked up a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, Sir Adzik's sword got stolen from us by the uh, bandits, so we no longer have that. Got a lot of damaged stuff, but we have no money to repair it. And I doubt, I don't think we can repair it ourselves either. I do not have a speed. So, let's see what the map says. Ah, okay. So we need to go over there for that. And then the main quest is... Oh, we're at a small castle. Okay. Let's go over here. I like doing side quests first. Let's actually get some clothes on first. Uh, this is a decent condition. This is brand new. Conditions 100. This one's 65. This one does deal more damage, though. Go ahead and do that one. I like me a shield. Uh. 
don't. <clears throat> now, even though these are broken, they might actually. They still provide some defense. So it's probably a decent idea to at least wear it until we can repair it. Middle of the mine. Uh, we got a canvason. That's nice. When did we get that? All right. We are all overloaded because I don't think we were able to sell anything yet. Did I forget to wear it, put on something? I did. There we go. There's the doggo that was in the village. I quite like the music in this game. It's very nice, peaceful. <laughs> Let's see, do we Skyrim it? Always. get up here I can't jump oh because I'm carrying too much stuff uh oh well Skyrim failed uh -oh. let's see I can't get up this why okay surely Yeah, there might be a way up. Okay. Uh. Oh, come on. Hey, there we go. Sweet. Okay, let's go over this way. Here's the castle we need to go to. It's very cool. I think there's a path back there. It's a good thing they don't mind me just walking around their house. Oh, I heard a bug. That's interesting. Shrooms! Wink. Thank 
Okay, this looks like the place that we're supposed to be going to. person I'm supposed to talk to? Some people can teach you your lessons, says Pikachu Lady. Okay. What training does he offer? Ah, Houndmaster. <laughs> Try and get him out of the house? He is out of the house. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict, um, was a family man. He left three young children and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. That worked. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. Twenty groschen? Ah, uh, fine. It's a deal. Here it is. It's a good thing I actually had money on me. Chicken. Chicken. Alright, let's head back. That was easy. I'm sure there was a sneakier way that you were supposed to do that. I've never been much of a stealth person, my anyway. Uh, what happens if I just walk off here? That's a, that's a hill. Ooh, that's a cliff. Well, there we go. Doesn't seem to mind. What's that? Drums. You've discovered Rate. Ah! Is that the province I'm in, I'm sure? Very pretty. Need to get in there and find somebody to sell all this crap so I don't have to lug it all around. Speaking of which, I am hungry. Oh. Okay. Well, there you go. Eating noises. Gross. What is this? Oh, they're baths. Okay. How much is it for a bath? Greetings. What do you need? I'd like to make use of the bath. Wait, there was a trade? Services. We could sell uh -huh. stuff? And what do you want? Uh oh wow. Wasn't that an interesting Okay, well I actually don't have any money. Actually never mind. Yeah, you should trade. You have muns? You do have muns. Can I sell clothing? I cannot. But I can sell everything else. Surely I don't need all of that. Cue the music. My goodness. I'll just keep the dried stuff. It'll probably last longer anyway. Oh, 
How much is it to clean these clothes? I'd like to make use of the bathhouses. And what is it you'd like? Laundry garments. Okay. Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. As you wish. Do you have the coin? That's a good question. No, I do not. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? <laughs> not very much, apparently. Ah, man, that's awful. Since it's you. What do you mean, since it's you? Yeah, I know. I don't have that much. Can you do point one of a coin? You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. Good luck. Okay, great. Now we have no money. But at least my clothes are cleaned. That's... Yeah, that looks much better. I do wonder if that clean just cleaned all the clothes that I had on my person, or did that clean everything in my inventory? No, just the stuff I was wearing. Okay. I can whistle. That is the whistle button. Oh, that's nice. You can actually, yeah, actually see your character when you're running. He has a shadow and everything. That's good. Okay, let's turn this ring in. I wonder if he sells things, too. Or if he can buy stuff off me, anyway. You. Jesus Christ be praised. Yes. I've got, got three. Thing. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever oh. fellow like you will okay. never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. Okay, cool. I mean, so he's a fence. Used to belong to someone else, and you can't sell to just anyone. Yeah, that could be useful. Sasha Morgan, hey, how's it going? You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Uh... So. I've got some goods here whose owners <coughs> might miss them. All right, let's see what we can do about that. Good, good. That's good to hear. We're doing pretty good over here too. Just trying to relax, kick back after a long day. I'm good, thanks for that though. Beekeeper models, oh. Um, we're not thinking about doing that yet. But uh, thanks for the offer. Really? Oh, probably. Well, I like the padded armor on this. Well, I don't know. Okay, so that actually does better. And it's got more durability, less noise too. Okay, I'll do the padded armor instead. I don't like those. He's got a thousand gold coins, that's awesome. Oh, that'll be no... I 
Black Coif versus Paddock Coif. Uh, we're actually going to keep the padded coif. That one. Sell this one. Don't need those. Don't need that. Don't need those. We'll get everything else repaired so we can actually use it. What? Well, almost made a hundred. Let's see if we can get a hundred. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so. Get. Yeah. I want more. So let's see if he'll do that. Are we agreed? You won't convince me with that. Oh, why not? Do a hundred. Uh, that's what I wanted in the first place, so... Oh, that's a decent price. Alright. And we can run again. Where did he want me to go? The Miller... Kaholnitz... Where is that at? That's kind of out of my way. I'll do that later. I need to go inside anyway. Let's go. Kind of noisy, and I'm not expecting a whole lot over here, so I'm going to take off some stuff. Eh, yeah, keep that on. That doesn't look bad. that. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. What does this look like? I padded armor. Is that what I was wearing? The canvas. I like the canvas. We'll keep that on. I'm walking a lot quieter now. I'm sure a lot faster too. travel. Ah, found a fast travel spot. Nice. Hmm. More foods. Oh. oh! Who are you and where are you going? I'm, I'm Koenig. Son of the Scarlet's Blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Voyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Uh I mean we technically are. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop I... the bugger off. Oh, okay. That sucks. I highly doubt his speech is going to be any higher than mine. Maybe a little coin would clear the way? How much do you want? Ten? 
Ten's fine. I can just do ten. See how nicely we can get along? Welcome to the town. I don't appreciate that, but fine. Ooh. Okay, so the quest marker is taking us over here, so we'll be over here. I recognize those two. That be the Smith's son, Hal. Oh, my yeah. soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Not quite. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just <coughs> what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? We are here. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. <laughs> They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm gonna find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> I assume we go up. I think so. Yo. No? No, no. Maybe up one more? Yeah, that's it. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. <laughs> Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanush. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. 
He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Well, Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Talmberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? The others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, well, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. <laughs> And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. A sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> he isn't a peasant, Father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. <laughs> I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. 
Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. All right. We are a squire now. Awesome. See if we can find a tailor. Time's it. Ah. It's almost eight. We'll see if they're still open. So, I think that's where it was. Nope. They're closed. Crap. Good people. Huh. Close okay. Well, let's, uh. Shush. Let's see if we can go over to... Let's see, what does this say? Go talk, go to the training ground and talk to Bernard. And there's this thing way up here. What's that? A quest giver, eh? It's an alchemy bench. Different surfaces make different sounds. Uh, that's cool. I hope you'll stay the over here. Fast travel. Captain Bernard's not here. I should stop by during the day. Oh, well. Just look around over here. If there's anything of use. Yeah. Take some extra arrows. That is to... Okay. Make sure no one's around. Okay, well there's some tents over here. I wonder if I can sleep in these. I'll actually work out. I don't have to walk all the way over here. Although, is that just a. That is just a chimkin. Wow. There. Yeah, I can sleep here and save. That's awesome. Um. Can we. Oh, we do have a fast travel location back at them. Can I zoom in? Thank you. Yeah, we'll fast travel over here. That way we don't have to worry about it. That way I can get up early so I can go over to the, the uh, hey buddy, I've got a shield for you. 
Okay. Did I miss anything over here? I don't think so. Sleep it safe. I will be starving when I get up. Nice. Eh. Yeah. I eat. No, not not from here. Interesting. Well, I need to get some food. Oh, I've got some food on me. The 50. 67. Nice. Eating noises. Gross. Alright, that should be good. Okay, let's run in, see if we can't go to that tailor, get our stuff fixed. Pretty view. from this pot? I can, but I... So it looks like each pot has to refill, I guess? Maybe I need to put stuff in. Ooh. Water noises. See, are you open? Not yet. Really? Okay. Is there a wait? Yes, there is. We're gonna wait. <sighs> Be right back, guys. Alright, so we are back. Let's see if it's open yet. <laughs> really? What time does this guy open? He's open finally. Yo, yo. Mother of God, 
You look like you've been assaulted. Well, I kind of was. Oh, I don't want to buy stuff. Uh. Hey, you there. My respects to you. Repairs. Okay, so it's him. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That's all of my money. Let's see if we can get that a little lower. Yeah. All right, so. Knock ten off of it. Is this enough? Well, now, a little more and we'll shake on you. You sure? Can you do this? Are we agreed? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Would you? All right, all right, all right. Oh, that's a decent price. We got four gold off. Fair enough. Although, all of our stuff's repaired now, so that's great. Oh, put your sword away, you fool. Is there any cheap stuff I can buy? Oops. Nope. I didn't know about that. Hmm. Wow, everything here is expensive. Yep, definitely not getting any of that. Is it raining? Or am I... No, yeah, it is raining. Cool. Oh, and now every surface is muddy. That's awesome. Oh, wow, you can actually see the water pooling. See if we can't get over to Captain. Great weather to train. All muddy. Okay. Yes, he's here. Awesome. Hey. Good health to you. You can arrest. Can I ask? Ah. What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young Lord spends most of his time making merry, <coughs> but he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Till Sigismund came, and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. Hmm. Perikstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Ouch. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our Lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Uh -huh. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik said. I'm not the boy. Yes, that's me. 
Let's get through it then, since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Um. Very well. Let's just go ahead and do what I'll he's doing. And listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Good luck to you. Well, let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your yeah. back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. All right. Good. All right. All right. Well done. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Very good. What's going on? Maybe you know what's going on. All right. Good. Oh, actually, hit us hard. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Nice. Good. Nice. Not bad. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Yeah. I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. Uh huh. Good strike. Ow. Oof. Ah. Oh my god, those perfect blocks are insane. Fine. That's enough. I have my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Nice. Nice. Very good. All right. Good. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply <laughs> fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Okay. Hmm. So you batted it aside. Yeah? Ah, okay. All right, that will do. Now you. The 
trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. Smooth knocks the blade aside. Very good. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Not bad. That, that wasn't from above. Good. Ow. Boy, good. You wouldn't let me good. do anything. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Ooh. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Uh, it's like a dodge, I'm assuming. Yeah, dodge. I don't have all day, boy. Alrighty then. Alright, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. If the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Well done. So I hit B to dodge there. Uh, that's it. Oh, just move to the side. I don't even have to do it. Oh, okay. You just kind of move the joystick. Right. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You see a strike before it's even properly started. Yoink. Not bad. Yeah. Well done. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Oh, a faint. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. No. Not like that. Oh, come on. Ah, I was doing nice. it too quickly. Nice. Good. Oops, too too quick. Got him. That's it. Oh, Jesus. Got him. 
now. That wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. <coughs> you might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. I'm up to it now. Don't leave yet. The Radzik also wanted oh. to teach you archery. Okay. Might have to do that later. Oh, we leveled up. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. Scar buddy, get off of there. That's not exactly the good one. Increases the time you can go without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. Oh. I kind of like that one. Doesn't seem to have a downside. Nope, there is another one there. Agility. Featherweight. Falling will cause 30% less injury. Nice. Did we level up any combat? No, we did not. Okay. I wonder when it will stop raining. It's very interesting that clouds definitely don't look like it's storm clouds. Oh, he's got spurs. That's cool. Wonder where you get those. Wonder if I can get those. Is he just faster than me? What is up with that? That's slightly annoying. I don't want please from combat. You can chase him down and grab him. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So this will be interesting. Hmm. Let's see that. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, hey, but it can do be I have them on? Handed. I do. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. This is so cool. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Mm. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. 
Okay. I've got it dropped. Okay. Oh, it's jiggly. <laughs> I didn't even hit it. <laughs> well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I didn't. Ugh, come on. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Yeah, that oh, struck a nerve. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The brother who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Okay. I have been signed up for this. Alright. Oh, come on. We'll hire. There we go. Nice hits, nice hits. Perfect, bullseye. Another bullseye. And same spot. Let's go up a little bit more. Nice. Oh, am I not shooting? Oh. I'm out of arrows. I gotcha. Yeah, that was. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Uh, sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Apparently we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Okay. Are these with training sword? They are not with training swords. Oh no. Oops. You'll pay for that. Ow, missed time that. Come over here. Oh shush you. Ow. Ah, I was blocking. Oh, he should have dodged that. Oops! He's trying to swing. Ah, nice repost there. Ah. Oops. Ow. Ow. Oh, it stopped raining. Ah, you should have left your guard down. Aha. There's a lot of blood on my sword. Ow! Whoa. 
Aha. Oops. Ow. Ah. Oops. Ouch. Are you going to cry now? Are you? You just took a hit there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. Aha! Now you dumb boy. Okay, I don't know why that doesn't block it, but okay. Ah! Oh, come on. Adam. Well, you got the better of me this time, blacksmith. It's coming an off day. You all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. Best years are behind it anyway. Nice. I'm pretty sure I'm a little bloody, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. But my piece of armor that I was wearing is absolutely destroyed now. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I have a bow. Sweet. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. Yeah. I hope he has. He shouldn't have challenged me. No, he really shouldn't have challenged me. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzik's protection. But you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now, go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, okay. Can I practice with you? Can I? No, looks like I can't practice with him. I've got to go. Is there anything? Wash up. Find it interesting. I'm where I'm making a lot of noise. Oh, it's because I'm wearing fan braces. There we go. Oh, it's Sir Hanish. Oh, so that's where the archery is. Is this a blacksmith? It is. Hey. My respects to you. Oh, he can repair my stuff. That's awesome. Well, I don't have any money to pay you yet. Right? I don't have any money? I've got 14 gold. Great. Huntsman, eh? Yeah.
Master them. Bailiff. Good health to you. I can. Apparently, I don't know how to read. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Hmm. Okay. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Okay. I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. What's up, Minicat? I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? The captain does not like me. I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to yeah. stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Oh, there's an armory. God be with you. I got 70 groschen. Well, let's see what this gear is first. Pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory. Join Nightingale on patrol between 11 and 1900. It's noon. It is noon. Oh. Ah, look, it's Sir Hans. <laughs> A cobbler. Oh, cool. Ah. This doesn't seem like much. Oh, okay. Have you come from the bailiff? Yes. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty to? Sir Radzig Cobbler. Hmm. Yes. I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home. Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. Oh, That's good. All. We get a new one. You want a kiss and a hug as well? That. Clean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Sure. Light padded armor, bassinet. Uh, well, interesting. Okay. I like this. Oh, this is a knight's canvasson? Okay, so I need to hold on to that. Okay, so I've got... I'm assuming that's the one that I had. This is the new one. White padded armor. Ah. Okay.
Well, I can sell one of the padded armors and the other bassinet since I don't need to. Yeah, this guy sells stuff, so Let's see if he'll buy this. Good day to you. Sell. Uh, I actually kind of like this crest over that one, so I'll just sell that. I uh, don't need the old one. I kind of like that. Don't need two of these. Don't need that. Uh, I guess I'll take the bam braces over this. There we go. And then I wonder if. The, yeah, that should be enough so that I can go repair this gambeson that I'm wearing. Hey, I ruined this again. Good luck to you. Oh! Well, that's not very much at all, is it? Nice. Wrong way. What? Oh. Oh, interesting. They have actual shop guards that just sit around. Cool. Well, I guess I'll wear a sword. I've got the bow, might as well use it, right? Uh, I won't use the shield yet. There we go. That looks good. Oh, I guess that ki that kind of takes the place of the gambeson, does it? Doesn't it? I'll have. I wonder if he will buy it. No, nah, it's considered armor. Is there a blacksmith down here or an armor smith? Oh, surely that means armor smith. It is. God be with you. And also with you. So, don't need that. Nice. Did you have any, can you repair stuff? You can. Okay, that's not much. Do make sure everything's all good to go. Um, do you have anything cool? Hmm. That's a lot of monies. Uh, no, I don't like that. Bell-shaped kettle hat, huh? 1,400 Groshen for a kettle hat? My god, man. Brigantine pauldrons. Oh. 
Square shields. Oh, Brigantine Paladrons. Hey, those look like the ones that I own. Like, actually own. It's leg plate. Nice. Oh, wow. Not a fan of that one. I like that camison. Ooh. Way too expensive. Good grief, that's expensive. Oh my god, those are expensive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Grand bassinet. This is a book. Book on strength. Oh, cool. Too bad I can't read. Gutenberg. Gutenberg gauntlets. Those are cool. Light, Brigandine, Chalcis. Male Chalcis. Oh. Ooh. Do you have a late Kowartars? Eh. Oh, I don't even have that much anyway. Ooh, Akaris. Riveted gloves. Oh, those look cool. Riveted pauldrons. Oh, nice. Halved Gambeson? Or what that means. Huh. Ooh. Those are slick. I'll probably have to start off with Brigandine. It does seem to be slightly less expensive than everything else. I'll need to save up, though. I don't have any helmets that are actually decent. I'll just have to use a regular bassinet. Okay. Well, that's cool. I suppose there should be a swordsmith around here too, right? Oh. Oh, there it is. Do you have anything I can buy? God be with you. And also with you. Oh. The assassin. It's a long sword. Increase the long sword with a blade forged and honed for slashing. Oh. Increased weight ensures clean cut. Even through armor. Oh wow. Enemies blocking it will dull the blade. So attack is best form of defense. Oh, okay. Axes! I do like axes. Oh, looks like it doesn't it display it. If I can't afford it. Broad axe. That's cool. Ceremonial mace. Maces? I love maces. Wow, that's a thick blade. Can you actually dual wield in this game? I didn't know that. Heavy battle axe. Oh, wow. Herald. Herod sword. Exclusive piece, long sword with a high quality blade that was named after the biblical king Herod. Who won infamy by beheading John the Baptist. Oh wow. I'm not even strong enough to use this sword. Well, this is all really cool. There's a ton of different swords. Just have to stick with what I got. Discovered a grindstone? Oh, right there. Okay, well, 
I think I'm going to call it for this go. For this uh, episode. That's all the time I think I've got for for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I really enjoy playing this game. It's very relaxing. Yeah, it can be very relaxing, and I just like being in the medieval era. I've always loved loved it. So, hope you guys have a good have a good evening. Uh, I'll see you in the next stream. Bye bye.